Hello everybody, it is I, your sensual songstress, Hannah Von Stevens, and I was looking through my old YouTube videos during this abysmal quarantine, and I thought, you know, I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a very long time. I don't consider myself to be an amazing makeup artist, but this is my everyday face that I can put together in 30 to 45 minutes, and so I thought that I would show you the brands that I use, the techniques that I use, and uh, you know, if you get something from it, you do, if you don't, then oh well. So here we go, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is get your hair out of the way. Make sure that you have a good primer. I like to use e.l.f. Poreless Putty. You can get it for eight bucks online. Um, it's really cheap. Just really concentrate under your eyes. Make sure you get your neck and everything. The next thing that you're gonna do is take um, some alcohol and put it on. I, I put it on a paper towel and just rub your eyebrows and get all that oil away. And then to glue your brow, glue your brows down, you're going to just take a glue stick and uh, go against the grain of the hair on both sides and get a, a good coating of glue on there. And then you can take a wire brush that you can get at like a wig store or Target or Walmart and just lay those hairs down. Um, just put them down in the direction that they grow. Once you get them laid down, you're going to take your glue stick and put another couple of layers of glue on there to make sure that they're really glued down, honey. And then you just let that dry. What I like to do next is take some water on my finger once they're dry and just really smooth out any of the bumps. And this will give you the smoothest uh, possible texture. Next, take some airspun loose powder that you can get it from Walmart or Walgreens and just um, pat that over once it's dry and then brush away the excess. Just like you brush away those haters, honey. Brush them away. Um, next, take some Derma Blend Leg and Body. You can get it for $34 at Dillard's or you can get it online. I like the Leg and bo Body because, you know, since I am a man, I have to cover my face and it also helps cover um, my eyebrows. Next, what I do is I take a beauty sponge and I just, um, you know, blend it down. And then I put some more of that air spun powder on top to lock it in place. Wipe it away, honey. Swipe it away. And then I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and just go over my whole entire face and neck with the Derma Blend and give me a nice, uh, clean foundation for my makeup application. Bam. Next, what I'm going to do is take a Mayron Cream Blend Stick and I'm going to do my cheek contour and just really blend that out. Make sure that your beauty blender is damp. That will help really good a lot with the blending. And then I'm going to do underneath my neck. And really blend that, honey. You don't want it to look like you got a beard. And then I put at my temples where my receding hairline is. And I just blend that in. I, for... Concealer, I use e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. It's six bucks. You get it at Walmart. It's, I really like it. I really enjoy it. Uh, mostly because it's really full coverage and it's super cheap. And since I put on makeup, you know, four, five, six times a week, I need something that is cheap and reliable. And as you can see, I forgot to do my nose contour. So I'm going back in with that Mayron stick and just like a flat brush. And I'm just going to make a V on my V shape on my nose and just blend that out. I'm gonna get underneath my nose too. We wanna really pinch that thing, honey. Don't be able to breathe. Then once I have all that done, my creams, contours, and highlights, I set it with some powder. And I'm gonna take a wet and wild um, pencil. You can get these for a dollar at Walmart. And I'm gonna do a basic outline of where I want my eyebrows to be. I follow my natural um, brow bone, but I put it a little bit higher than my natural brow would be since we wanna be a woman. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You can mess it up because this is just a base. You're going to go back over it with another product at the end to freshen them up and make them look really good. Once I get the basic shape drawn on there, I'll take that flat um, brush again and just smooth and blend that all out. Next, what I do is take a Mayron Clown White 
and you can get this for nine bucks. And then I take a small angled brush and just cut the bottom of my eyebrow so that it gets a nice clean line there at the bottom. And once I have a good amount on there and the line looks good, I'm going to take a, um, a small beauty sponge and just, um, you know, smooth that out a little bit. Do that on both sides, honey. And then I set it with some Ben Nye powder. More on that in a moment. Uh, now, in this look, I literally used two colors, brown and pink. So on my eye, all I'm using is the color from the James Charles palette. I'm using that for my eyes. I'm going to use it for my contour. I'm going to use it for everything. Just the brown. And then I take that same color and uh, reinforce the contour on my nose. Then I'm going to go in with this pink shade. I don't know what any of these are called because I lost the thing a long time ago. And then I just put that as my blush on my cheeks. And so far you can see the only colors that I have used on my face are brown and pink. I like to look like a big tub of ice cream. Going back in with that same color, and I'm going to use that for my contour to deepen the cheeks up. Now this, like, like I said, I've said previously, I don't claim to be a, an amazing makeup artist. This is my, I have to get ready in about 45 minutes. Let's get this mug on so we can go meet the kids. Uh, this is the face. That This is my go-to face. Get that up there in the temples. This is the Ben Nye Super White Powder. You can get a big, huge tub for like 20 bucks. And this is what I'm going to highlight. My uh, jawbone, under, underneath my eyes, my chin, my forehead, all of that. Good, fun stuff. Gives you a nice brightening effect. Next, what I'm going to do is take a NYX... Um, this is a like a felt tip eyeliner and I'm just gonna go back over that brow I personally like a graphic brow I start on the tail end and sharpen that up and then I'll go in the front and put the little hair flicks in there and this is the only product that I've ever used that worked for me and it's like nine bucks at Walmart BAM wonky next what you're going to want to do is um, cough because you probably have coronavirus okay next what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my nose with that same Ben Nye powder and I'm going to um, highlight my forehead as well and I'm just going to take that over top of the um, the fronts part of the eyebrow that will help give it a, a little bit of an ombre effect once we let it sit there. I'm brushing off the excess on my nose because I don't want to mess up my contour. Now I'm going in with that uh, Ben Nye, uh, no this is the Mehron Clown White and I'm going to put that right on the tip of my nose, make it look real tiny, real fancy. Brushing away the excess. Okay, now what I'm taking is a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to brush away my highlight once I've baked. It's set on there and everything. Next, I am going to do a re revitalizing rose mist and let that dry all over the face, honey. Next, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Loose. That's a lot to say. Loose <laughs> highlight to give uh, a little bit of glow back to the skin. And uh, I'm going to use a small brush to uh, highlight my chin, Cupid's bow area, and um, under my brow bone and my forehead as well. I'm a glow baby. Um, now, I am using an eye pencil for my lips because with this coronavirus, I cannot go out. And typically, I would use one of those wet and wild um, 
lip pencils, but I do not have one right now, so I'm using an eyeliner. And then I'm using a Wet n Wild uh, lipstick as well. I'm going to take some of my 24-hour camo concealer, put it in the middle to give the lips a little bit of an ombre effect. And then I'm just going over it with a cheap lip liner. And this is the final result. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed that transformation and that you found it useful and that you can use it in your next transformation. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you do that. Check out my other videos. I'm a singing drag queen, and there are performances from uh, some of my wonderful drag sisters as well. So stick around, lots more to come.